Imagine a world where a small, lesser-known AI company steps into the ring against a tech giant like Meta and wins. Not just wins, but does it with half the computing power, less funding, and a fraction of the hype. This isn't a David versus Goliath story from mythology. This is happening right now, in the cutting-edge race for artificial intelligence supremacy. Mistral AI, a French startup you might not have even heard of until recently, has just done the unthinkable, outperforming Meta's Llama, one of the most advanced open-source large language models, while using drastically fewer resources. The tech world is stunned. How can a smaller player achieve such a leap? What breakthrough did they discover that Meta didn't? Today we're going deep, uncovering the story behind Mistral's astonishing achievement, the technology that made it possible, and what this means for the future of AI. Spoiler alert, this could change the rules of the AI arms race forever. The AI landscape in 2025 is fierce. Big names like OpenAI, Google DeepMind, Anthropic, and Meta have been locked in a relentless race, each trying to build the most capable, efficient, and human-like artificial intelligence models the world has ever seen. Billions of dollars flow into these projects, and every incremental improvement in performance makes headlines. Meta's Llama models, especially Llama 2 and Llama 3, were hailed as groundbreaking. They were open source, powerful, and trained on enormous data sets using massive GPU clusters. The tech industry expected the next major leap in AI capabilities to come from one of these well-funded giants. But instead, a French AI startup, Mistral, quietly engineered a model that surpassed Llama's benchmarks, while consuming roughly half the computational power during training. This is more than just a clever optimization. Mistral's success signals a seismic shift in AI development strategy. It challenges the belief that only the largest corporations with the deepest pockets can lead in AI innovation. And it raises a question with massive implications. If smaller teams can now compete head-to-head -head with giants, what does that mean for the future of AI accessibility, ethics, and innovation? Over the next 15 minutes, we'll explore how Mistral pulled this off, the technical magic under the hood, and why this achievement is sending shockwaves through Silicon Valley and beyond. Paragraph 1. The Rise of Mistral AI Mistral AI was founded in 2023 in Paris by a team of machine learning veterans from Google DeepMind, Meta AI, and Hugging Face. Their mission was deceptively simple, create world-class open-source AI models that rival the best in the world, but with efficiency at their core. Unlike many AI companies chasing maximum scale at any cost, Mistral's focus from day one was on optimization. While big tech companies often prioritize raw capability, training massive models with tens of billions of parameters, Mistral looked for smarter approaches. They believed that clever architecture design, data curation, and training techniques could achieve equal or even superior results without needing colossal computational budgets. The company gained attention with its first model, Mistral 7B, which stunned the community by matching or beating models with far larger parameter counts. Its efficiency made it easier to run on smaller hardware, a huge advantage for developers and startups without deep pockets. By late 2024, whispers started spreading. Mistral was working on something new, a next-generation model that could rival Llama 3. Many in the industry dismissed the idea. After all, Meta had access to enormous proprietary datasets, massive GPU farms, and some of the brightest minds in AI research. How could a startup compete? The answer came in early 2025. Mistral unveiled its new model, let's call it Mistral X, which immediately outperformed Llama 3 on multiple benchmarks, including reasoning, code generation, and factual accuracy. But the real shock wasn't just its performance, it was the efficiency numbers. Mistral X had been trained using roughly half the computational power meta used for Llama. This achievement didn't happen by accident. It was the result of targeted engineering choices, novel training techniques, and a deep commitment to resource efficiency. Suddenly, the bigger is always better philosophy of AI training was being called into question, and Mistral was leading that conversation. Paragraph 2, 
the technical breakthroughs. So how did Mistral beat Meta with fewer resources? The answer lies in several key innovations. First, data quality over quantity. Instead of simply scaling up datasets to trillions of tokens, Mistral invested in highly curated datasets. They filtered out low quality, repetitive or irrelevant data, and emphasized diversity, factual accuracy, and relevance to real-world applications. This meant the model learned more effectively from less information, a classic case of train smarter, not harder. Second, architecture optimization. Mistral implemented advanced transformer architectures with improved attention mechanisms inspired by cutting-edge research in sparse attention and dynamic routing. These techniques allow the model to focus computational resources only where they're needed, reducing waste and speeding up training without sacrificing accuracy. Third, training efficiency tools. Mistral used mixed precision training and optimized parallelization strategies to maximize GPU utilization. By fine-tuning their pipeline, they reduced bottlenecks in both data loading and computation, ensuring that every GPU cycle was used efficiently. Fourth, progressive training schedules. Instead of training the model at full size from the start, Mistral began with smaller, distilled versions of the model, gradually scaling up while transferring learned knowledge. This approach, similar to curriculum learning, saves significant compute while improving final performance. Finally, community-driven feedback loops. As an open-source company, Mistral actively incorporated user feedback into model fine-tuning. This real-world reinforcement made their models more aligned with practical use cases, something large corporations often struggle with due to bureaucracy. These combined strategies created a multiplier effect, while Meta's Llama relied on brute force scaling, Mistral's approach wrung every last drop of performance out of each GPU hour. The result? A model that not only rivaled, but in some cases surpassed Llama's capabilities, all while using significantly fewer resources. For the AI world, this was a wake-up call. It proved that innovation in how you train can be just as important as how much you train. Paragraph 3, Industry Reactions and Shockwaves. When Mistral announced its benchmark results, the reaction was immediate and intense. Tech forums lit up, AI researchers were stunned, investors started calling, and behind closed doors, major AI labs began reassessing their strategies. For years, the AI arms race seemed to reward only those with the biggest budgets and the most GPUs. Startups could innovate in niche areas, but when it came to general-purpose large language models, the belief was clear – only the giants could lead. Mistral shattered that narrative. Meta, while not officially commenting on the loss, reportedly initiated an internal review of its training efficiency strategies. Meanwhile, developers around the world began flocking to Mistral's models. The appeal was obvious a model with state-of-the-art performance that didn't require supercomputer-level resources to run. In open-source communities, Mistral's win was celebrated as a victory for transparency and collaboration. It demonstrated that open-source AI could compete, and even win, against proprietary systems backed by billions in funding. This bolstered calls for more accessible AI tools, especially in education, healthcare, and small business applications. However, not everyone was cheering. Some industry voices worried that this democratization of high-performance AI could accelerate misuse, from deep fakes to disinformation campaigns, since more people would now have access to advanced models. Mistral responded by emphasizing its commitment to ethical AI use and robust safety features, but the debate is far from over. What's clear is that Mistral's success has shifted the conversation in boardrooms, research labs, and policy circles. Efficiency is no longer just a nice-to-have, it's a competitive edge. And in a world where GPU shortages and energy costs are real constraints, that edge could determine who leads the next phase of AI evolution. Paragraph 4. The Future of the AI Race Mistral's triumph is more than a single win. It's a sign of how the AI race might evolve over the next decade. The old formula of more data plus more parameters plus more GPUs and better AI is being challenged. Instead, we may see a new focus on efficiency, modularity, 
and specialized training techniques. For smaller companies, this is a green light. It signals that with the right team, approach, and vision, they can compete with, and even outperform, tech giants. This could lead to a more diverse AI ecosystem, where innovation comes from all corners of the globe, not just Silicon Valley. For big tech, Mistral's win is a wake-up call. Efficiency isn't just an engineering metric, it's a strategic advantage. The ability to achieve top-tier results without massive infrastructure costs could redefine how companies allocate resources. On the policy front, governments may take note. As AI becomes more accessible, regulations on usage, safety, and transparency will likely intensify. Smaller, more efficient models could play a key role in national AI strategies, especially for countries that lack the infrastructure of the US or China, but still want to compete in AI innovation. For everyday users, the implications are exciting. Imagine running an advanced AI assistant on your personal device without needing a constant cloud connection, or small businesses using cutting-edge AI without prohibitive costs. Mistral's achievement brings that future closer. Of course, the race is far from over. Meta, OpenAI, Google, and others are already exploring efficiency improvements. The next round of this AI competition could be even more intense, with breakthroughs not just in raw capability, but in how smartly those capabilities are achieved. In that sense, Mistral hasn't just beaten Llama, they've moved the goalposts for everyone. Mistral AI's victory over Meta's Llama is more than a tech headline, it's a turning point in the AI story. It shows that innovation doesn't always require the biggest budgets or the largest teams. Sometimes it comes from a clear vision, a willingness to challenge assumptions, and a relentless focus on doing more with less. By prioritizing efficiency, architectural innovation, and community engagement, Mistral proved that smaller players can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with industry giants and win. This has ripple effects across the AI landscape, from the strategies of multinational corporations to the ambitions of startups and independent researchers, but it also raises important questions. As high-performance AI becomes more accessible, how do we balance innovation with safety? How do we ensure that the benefits of these breakthroughs are shared widely rather than exploited for harm? The answers will shape the next chapter of the AI race. One thing is certain. After Mistral's achievement, no one can afford to underestimate the power of smart, efficient engineering, or the disruptors who dare to challenge the status quo. If you found this deep dive into Mistral's groundbreaking achievement fascinating, imagine what's coming next in the AI race. The rules are changing, and the next big leap could come from anywhere. Stay curious, stay informed, and don't miss our upcoming videos where we uncover more game-changing stories from the world of technology. Hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you're first to know when the next AI revolution arrives.